Ottawa how does it this is your famous French extreme of the I'm just kidding I'm bad at accents Oh, and I will be playing the DLC for this too because I believe I have it. It's, it's like the deep or something. My back. Oh, jeez. You don't want to load whatever this is. Wow, the game froze. I break games incredibly fast, apparently. Yeah. Stormtrooper guy, oh, we're dead now. Oh, yeah, see, I do. I, I does have it. I does have it. I does have it. I do. I do. But I don't have it there. It's a little discreet. I want to play fish out of water in a stream one of these days because I did getting over it and I want to beat it and now as far as I'm aware fish out of water is way shorter than getting over it so it should be fun turn this down a little bit oh I got one viewer oh man it's a little nightmares I will be going back to Steven Universe eventually don't worry it's just right now I don't know what to do in that game, and I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do in Business Forge. Because that is like 5% complete or something like that. I could go look after this stream. In fact, I'm probably going to go play that game after this stream, actually, and start a new game. Because it's fun. Oh no, what is... I haven't played this game in like over a year, so I remember almost nothing about this game. I am going to play the second one as well. I'm not in the same stream, though. Because I'm going to make it videos on YouTube. Oh, who is this? Oh, this the lady. This the only thing I remember in the original one. I'm a TIE fighter from Star Wars. You can't beat me. Oh. Why we so... Why we smoke? Your small human bone. We're small, tiny. We tiny itty bitties. Oh, I can walk now. I wasn't paying attention. I was waiting for that cutscene. Remember, there's like a way to pick stuff up. Back. Is there something in here? I have more strength than that. What's the jump key? There's gotta be a jump key. Insane. It's just a bucket. I guess we should go. There's a sprint key, isn't there? I didn't even notice that little detail. That's cool. She, like, fans the fire out. So it doesn't burn out, I guess. If it throws something at that hole, I can get it in. I don't know. Let's see. It's gonna take some accuracy to do that, though. I'm guessing no is the answer. I'm guessing that's just here for no reason. Just to try. least get to part one. Chapter one or whatever they call it in this game. Nightmare 
Joke, but okay. It's a creepy statue. It's creepy statues do creepy things. Apparently, there's like a, a totally different ending in this game if you like hug all the gnomes or whatever the freak. I, I don't really know. I, I'm not gonna go out of my way to try and find every single one. I'm standing in. There was clearly someone in that window. I saw you. Grab the edge, lady. Ah, here it is. The hanged man. I knew the hanged man was here. There was a crooked man. So I'm not sure if Little Nightmares 1 is a prequel or a sequel, but I'm guessing it's a prequel. Because the guy you're with in, I mean, in Little Nightmares 2 is a prequel or a sequel. Because the guy you're with in 2, uh, he gets uh, there's this raincoat that I'm wearing. She had a little bit of But they get a raincoat, this raincoat that I'm wearing. So I'm guessing it's a prequel to The Little Nightmares 1. But at the same time, that doesn't really make much of any sense because of the events that happened in 2. I remember a lot about 2 because 2 was just a trip and a half. Like, these games are fun, don't get me wrong, I like these games, but I also like games like Goat Simulator and stuff that have horrendous physics, but are still fun because of their horrendous physics. Uh, one of these days, I'm gonna just make a video where I play a bunch of terribly horrendous games for no reason, like every other YouTuber has. And I'm gonna do it less entertaining because there's no way I'm gonna be more entertaining than someone Because I don't take time to edit my videos very often because it takes forever and I have a job. I also have to look out for what is this black that fellow is coming. He can't catch me because I'm the ginger man. He's not. That was a joke. Can you want to make some new classic fairy tales? What are these things? They look like freak colors. Oh, there was one already on the ground. Carry this one around as a plate, or just chuck it apparently. Which I'm guessing it's these guys. You know, my lighter probably. That <laughs> seems like a pretty long fall. So you can't move a bucket, but you can pull wood right off the hinges. That doesn't make sense. Oh. Oh. I was gonna jump across to like that. Oh! Can I like 
survive that previous thing? Because there was clearly a gnome there. So maybe if I, like, jump over that wood, I can avoid that. Hang on. Where's the checkpoint? I might have to restart the whole game and speedrun over here real quick. <laughs> it wasn't that long. It was, like, five minutes at most. Ah, crap. Yep. Hang on. I I'm just checking, okay? Watch. Watch my magic skills as I teleport to the end, and you don't know the difference. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... You're gonna watch me get there. I'm gonna speedrun this. Watch this. Watch this epic speedrun skills. You'll have no idea that I'm not a speedrunner of this game once you see these tremendous speedrun skills that I have. You'd be so shocked and amazed by these speedrun skills. Totally not just saying stuff randomly now, just to random have banter or whatever. These speedrun skills will amaze you. You'll be super shocked by my skills that are speedrunning. After the game decides to load in five years, apparently. <laughs> these speedrun skills will shock you. Watch, watch this. Totally not gonna die at the very beginning by accidentally jumping off or some dumb crap like that. I just got my legendary. Can I skip this? That's dumb. No, I want to skip this cutscene. <gasps> oh no, it's a spooky lady. Oh god. Oh, I'm so terrified of the spooky lady. No idea. Oh, I'm shocked by this spooky lady. to horror and explore the unique side of it a little bit. And what I'm talking about is a game known as I'm Scared. A pixelated nightmare. Released on the Steam a while ago. Did I miss the statue? I missed the statue. I didn't miss the statue, and I'm just an idiot, and it's actually further ahead. It is further ahead. Of, wow, I'm stupid. Ooh, wow, great start to my speed. Not remembering where stuff is. It's fine. At least this is more entertaining than me streaming Roblox. Not saying that Roblox can't be entertaining, it's just not when I'm recording it, because I sound monotone and bored. Because Roblox is... Actually, Roblox is getting pretty, pretty <laughs> out there with some of their games. Like, they have this game, Frontlines, where they actually have gun jamming mechanics in the first person shooter game. That's right, Roblox has better mechanics than Call of Duty in first person shooters now. And it looks pretty realistic as well. Not that my PC will ever be able to run that thing. It'll probably fry my computer here because mine's very cheap. Come on. Lighter, please. Actually, no, nah, I need to move this chair. Running, I couldn't stop sprinting like I legitimately had to sprint the entire game. And I totally failed that challenge because I forgot what the sprint key was. And yes, you can fast crouch. See, because this is a normal crouch, this is a fast crouch, which counts as a sprint crouch. In my so you can play the whole game and get all of the normals. 
and then I had to do one where we collected zero gnomes. And then the hardest one that I still haven't been able to achieve was beat the whole game death. Which is very difficult. But I, I'll do it one of these days on stream. I'll do all of those challenges again. Just, just try and conquer them. Because I failed all except for the one. Because most of the gnomes you do find are obvious and show you where they are, and they're also like out from the area you need to go anyway in the main game. Back almost to the area that I was talking about. Can we survive? Jump? Do we have to go? Does it default us to go down there? Yeah, yeah, there's no way. That That's too far of a jump. Okay. I mean, maybe there is actually a way, but... Oh, crap. Well... Oh, this is sad. I got through this whole thing without dying, and then I screwed up after restarting the game. Sick. Well, we're back to where we were anyway, which only took about five minutes. Not a huge waste of time, and you don't even have to watch it if you don't want to, but I'm going to get back across here eventually. Can you get a sprint lady? I don't really know much. You're like a short mini person. Grab the... Thank you. Needle. Needle. <laughs> that just collapsed. <laughs> like, that's the game. I can never find. The camera angle is so bad in this game as well, which isn't gonna help me. I forgot what the crouch key was also, so maybe that would help. Are you serious? That's such a dumb checkpoint. I should have gotten a checkpoint after like this a lot. Okay, so it was out. Wait, the fire is already lit. That should be my checkpoint then. Why are you sliding? Don't do that. Don't randomly slide. Please. I wasn't even sprinting and she just decided to slide.
care about the gnomes, and I'm not gonna waste 30 minutes trying to look for them either. Okay, so I do have to hold RT while climbing and stuff. That's kind of stupid as well, but at least it won't bug kill. played that game I legitimately found a rare bug because it was like a week after it came out I think I found a bug where the teacher does not move she just stands there in the same area the whole time pretty much blocking the exit and preventing you from progressing at all it actually made it Undo. Oh, it's behind the door, isn't it? And it made that part specifically undoable where I had to restart the whole chapter because of it. That was extremely close. <laughs> I almost died. Snow me on Juliet. Oh my What? Why does it go all the way over here from right there? That's so unfair. Fuck you, man. See, I don't understand the patterns of anything anymore because it just going all the way back from left is kind of stupid. Because it means I'm going to have to wait for it to get into the middle again. So I'm going to have to wait a whole 30 seconds for a cycle, which is just a waste of time for no reason cycle is stupid. See, it doesn't do that the first time. It just did that for almost no reason just to kill me. Wow, that is dumb. Is this? Well, there's a statue in here, and I'm gonna break it. Goodbye.
so this is just a, a blood filled room, I guess. best if you don't wait they copy my actions I know. You stay there. That's a safer place than out here. You don't need it. That was like a lucky jump. Look, I have to explore some places, okay? Also, this eyeball has like no peripheral vision whatsoever. Bro. If this was like based on a real human eye, six, the character we were playing as, that I do would have 100% been seen there, and I would have died. I think I see what I have to do already. I think I gotta make an absolutely suicidal leap from up here. Cause falling from here as a small person would absolutely kill me. This is like a hundred feet from me. Now if I remember correctly, the end of this chapter is quite a bit of ways away. what they ate for like five days and then they get hungry again it's too quick because they haven't had enough potent or something like this this character gets hungry so fast that it's unbelievable
Yeah, here it is. We gotta, like, move this thing. surviving that fault. See, that's why I don't like this mechanic. Because this is just a dumb mechanic. In general. In any game. It's just as stupid as those boss games, like Dark Souls and stuff, when they include a boss that does nothing but relies on minions. It's absolutely annoying to deal with. And it's not a fun or interesting mechanic. Every game has a mechanic like this. I can tell you four Legend and Zelda games with this same mechanic, and I didn't like it then either. Because I know there was one in Ocarina of Time, that's for sure. There was also an annoying temple in the Ocarina of Time, though, so yeah. And anyone who's played Ocarina of Time would absolutely know what I'm talking about. And in case you don't know the temple I'm talking about, that would be the Water Temple, because Ocarina of Time has a Water Temple. Also, why is my checkpoint not at these fires? Why do I have to run all the way back up here every time I screw up once when your mechanic is kind of BS and the thing is really fast? Flying leap. Why is there a randomly a ladder there too that leads to me? Like, there's no point in that ladder at all. Maybe if I only slightly turn the thing. Like, see, you can turn it all the way this way. What if I... barely turn it that way? Haha, I made it. Good. Now... That's the lever for the thing down below, isn't it? Can I, like, pull out these drawers? Oh, I can only pull out some of them. That seems kind of stupid, but okay. The person has a fire pit. That's, that's just my question. I can't get back to the gnome from here. There ain't no way. So there has to be something that I have to do. That I probably totally missed because I was busy saving a gnome. Oh, this. I'm gonna grab a noose. Let's see my Pokemon. So what was stopping my character from just staying at the beginning and not moving? Well, I guess besides immediate death by hunger, since they get five seconds. Oh yeah. And 
now this bridge. Never mind. There's no way I want to know. Oh, my God. There's no way I want to know. Can I just climb up here? Watches that moving thing for what purpose? Are you kidding me? The moving thing got me killed because it stubbed my toe or something and I instantly stopped moving for no reason. Wow, that's stupid. I'm pretty sure that was a bug because I literally could not move. It just stopped my character entirely, but that's awesome. Oh, save right before it this time. Like that, like, why does my character just stop running for no reason? What is stopping it from moving there? I don't understand why the sprint just immediately stops right there. That kind of just makes it impossible. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on, but if it's a bug, then they need to go back to this older game and fix it. I don't care how long the game has been. No one wants to play a game and experience bugs. It's freaking annoying. That was my point. I also hate how fast this thing kills you as well. Like, you cannot get behind cover if it sees you in any area. Because, one, the cover that you can get behind is freaking moving, which is just immediately a no and stupid. But whatever. I hate mechanics like this because they're just dumb. You have to be patient for no reason when I don't want to stand there doing nothing for it. It's just annoying. I'm behind cover, thank you very much. That's kind of stupid, but okay, whatever. I guess it's the game that I was behind cover. Yeah, see, like that. That doesn't make no sense. Why the heck? See, and now I'm totally fine. No, I'm not. Never mind. Wait, yeah, I am. Can you, like, move? Why? Why is it just staying here? This is totally unfair. Freaking jeep, bro. Oh, this is the, the, the bridge that started. Never mind. I better not have to go through the thing again. I can't tell where I am because of the camera angle, okay? This is like Super Mario 64 camera angles. <laughs> but they're, they're not good. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's another thing. Like, checkpoint way more often. Because I remember there's one checkpoint in this game that sets you back like 30 minutes of progress if you fail. And it's just really stupid. And they have the same thing in Final Fantasy VII's remake. You have to fight like this Harbinger or whatever the heck. And there's no checkpoints throughout the entire fight. So if you fail at the very end, you have to go back through the 45 minute long fight. Which is just stupid. Because I saved two gnomes, there were four gnomes in the chapter, or those the two gnomes I missed. Wait, is this actually starting like a new chapter? I 
could not tell you. It hasn't even been an hour yet, though, so maybe I'll keep going. Uh-huh. I'm guessing yes is the answer to that question. This game is good. Don't get me wrong. There's just some mechanics in games that I don't like. They're just mechanics I personally do not like. That does not mean the game is bad. I actually like this game. I just don't like the eye mechanic. It's just really annoying. <laughs> Even though you can get through the whole first chapter in like 40 minutes, apparently, or whatever. Pew, pew. I'm a Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Pew, pew. <laughs> That's totally a Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. That's all. Uh, we are back with six, and we are going into the great unknown. Anyone see the Mario movie? I haven't seen it yet, but I, I'm just asking because I want to know if it's like. Oh, there's nothing here. I legitimately can't see if there's like a crawl space here or not. Because it does look like there's something beyond this point. So I guess no is the answer. Oh. Wait. Quick it. Uh -huh. What the heck is this? I guess we should continue. Whatever that may entail, I guess. Oh, I can climb. Not sure if he went up the stairs or not, but I'm guessing no. Okay, maybe he did. How are the gnomes so fast?
leather in there. Yeah, I don't think I can fly and jump from here. The answer is no. Definitely not. I was just checking. So there's something I missed. Oh, I'm an idiot. I bet I just moved the suitcase over to that lever. This is a foldable bed, but I still don't see the install that the Whatever. Excuse me. That's the key right there. Got the key. I got it. it. I am a weed. Ah, so you know how to use keys, even if they're diamonds. I don't like that. Do I gotta use this monkey for something? Chuck it. That does look like a hiding space. Why did it become so choppy all of a sudden? This looks like a pretty obvious hiding space though, and that looks like a hiding space over there.
this is where the guy captures me because I'm stupid and fall for this obvious trap. See what I mean? I fall for this obvious trap. I don't care how hungry you are, you don't be dumb enough to fall for an obvious trap. It's not like she would have survived if she wasn't the main character. because I'm going to get stunned from the fall. Oh, I know. I just don't know what you expect me to do because, like, you get stunned from the fall. Oh, it doesn't close as fast as I thought it did. Now I'm trapped. Wait, I can probably climb this. Also, the frame rate got chopped. So you can't use the lighter where there's actually light, or the frame rate gets choppy, I guess. What is my man's doing? <laughs> How am I supposed to crank this with 9,000 IQ hearing, man?
follow-up like that from someone my size would actually be deadly. How the hell was I supposed to know that? That was just a lucky guess. That was literally a random chance thing. Oh god, no, I hate this part. It's not because it's fun, it's just generally horrible. That was incredible luck, I feel like. I like how they clearly know I'm in here. Like, they keep shutting door- oh, jeez.
hand on the wall? That's stupid. Okay, I'm supposed to climb, thanks, game. Like, he just hears me instantly. I don't run into anything in there, and he just hears you. Like, I don't know what the hell he's got. Like, he must have 9,000, over 9,000 hearing. Like, I don't know what the hell this is. And considering the camera angle isn't exactly the best, sprinting through there is not very fun. Because you have nine gajillion dolls laid about randomly everywhere. How the hell? What the hell noise did I make for him to hear that? There was literally no noise. This game is actually cheating. It's generally cheating. It hears stuff at like two decibels. Which human beings can't hear at. I did not hear anything and I'm wearing headphones. And I did not hear my character make any noise. But this guy heard a non-existent noise. to do then I literally can't distract him long enough if he just instantly hears hears me okay so the game is bugged then because this is actually impossible cool either the game is bugged or this is undoable right now for no reason like I don't know because the thing doesn't distract him very long at all. He like legitimately hears you right away. It, which is just absolutely stupid. You're not even making a noise and he hears you. Non-existence. Yeah, maybe if there weren't nine gajillion- Yeah, this is impossible. This is generally undoable right now, because I'm pretty sure the game is bugged out. Because he's hearing me no matter what. I'm not even making a noise, and he's hearing me. So if there's actually a bug where this guy just hears nothing- then that legitimately needs to be fixed. That generally is stupid and makes this part unbearably hard for no reason. And I may just skip the whole chapter altogether. Uh -huh. 
just because of that. Just because it's bugged out, I don't want to continue. That just doesn't make any sense why he would just hear nothing. Like, there's generally no reason he would be hearing me when I'm barely moving. But for some reason, he hears you instantly the second you step on the wood. Which, I don't even have to be running into stuff. I can just be walking right here. And there you go. He heard me for no reason. That, there was literally no reason for him to hear me there at all. And he just for some reason heard something. I'm not even sure what. That That's fun to deal with, I guess. A bug is awesome. I love games being bugged. So this part becomes actually impossible. That's super fun to deal with. How'd you know? My favorite thing. doesn't fucking exist on um, these headphones that I am currently wearing. He's just hearing nothing, and it's just for some reason. I don't know what I'm supposed to wait for, either, because as soon as he's done looking in there, he comes back in here. Does he leave this room, or does he just stay right there? I think that answers my question. then you dumb bitch awesome having the crouch button also be a slide button that was also really stupid because you legitimately have to sprint throughout most of this game or these things are just instantly going to find you and kill you immediately which is just stupid any extra mechanic like that is just absolutely fucking dumb you should just have different buttons for different Purposes. You shouldn't have any button be the same button to do two different things. I don't get why games do that at all. What? Yeah, go find that. Are you serious? was I just had to run into the very loud and obvious dolls the whole time. That literally makes absolutely no sense. The absolute silent flooring, he hears you, but bumping into the loud obnoxious dolls and he hears nothing. I don't understand. That is actually dumb. Like I'm literally wearing headphones and those dolls were loud as hell. Like, they really were. <laughs> well, this is gonna be wild. Should probably sprint now, right? Sprint. 
is a thousand times faster. you right now like I, I just want to be this chapter and be done what is this BS dude do I literally have to climb on these stupid boats the bookshelf can I climb the bookshelf holy crap this kid's got some strong grip oh. The piano is going to be so loud, though. What the hell? <laughs> that seems, like, legitimately unfair. They're just like, here, can we can jump on the piano from the loud oh, I missed the keys. I'm not going to do that. Jump. Grab. 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 What are you doing? <laughs> what the <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't. I guess if I'm not crouched, she just hears my actions for some reason, which is just really stupid. But you know, whatever. I'm trying to get up to this freaking candle. Is this candle just a troll? on a shelf in a library. That's really stupid. Librarians. Do not enjoy. Let Chuck. avoid this guy when he hears you he just insta locks on he has hacks on these don't you know he's got them call of duty wall hacks no okay wait where am i even going dude this this guy is annoying to deal with in general any way shape or form any guy who just hears any slight action or mistake you make is absolutely stupid because you're just saying, hey, play the game perfectly, even though you barely know how to. Just do it perfect, idiot. Get it right the first time or die over and over again and reset everything you did. Uh. 
thought until this obvious loud obnoxious lever Just like an insta kill. Oh, uh, uh. Okay, I was about to say, you're not making me restart the whole thing. That was stupid. Why did I die for no reason? That legitimately had to happen. I'm fucked. There's no way that wasn't a bug. You cannot convince me that that was programmed in to instantly kill me and launch me into the sky. Like, there's no way. There's no way they would do that. That's just totally unfair. I'm screwed. I survive. They literally programmed in a kill mechanic where you die if you fall four inches? That's so stupid, dude. I literally landed on top of the piano that other time, and it just launched me to the stratosphere and instantly killed me. Yes. 
a minecart. I mean, not really that obvious. Also, I'm pretty sure I missed some gnomes in the library, but I don't really care. Like, at all. So, I definitely can't do this. Why? Why is it going back? And I think this will probably crush me. to death. stupid that's just straight up stupid like what the hell am I supposed to do sprint past him so he instantly hears me and kills me again cuz every time I do anything that's not crouching near him I die which is incredibly dumb maybe if there wasn't so many rats here It's not even the rat that triggers him, it's the character that makes no noise at all. That's really fucking stupid. What was going on? I hate you, you rat. I hope you die. I hope you die so hard. supposed to do just run <laughs> I'm guessing it's just running then okay didn't know that <laughs> didn't really tell me that awesome this whole game is just guess and hope you're right simulator yeah my favorite it's only been about two hours I'm just trying to get through part of this That was... <laughs> You're joking, bro. What the hell? You have like four seconds. <laughs> That's such bullshit, dude. This is such BS at its finest. Also, what's stopping me from just say biting his head? Like, I, I, I don't know. Maybe my character should actually have any form of self defense, like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he like just accidentally bumped into me and can killed me. That's really stupid, but okay. That's beyond dumb. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? That's so dumb, like how finicky the grab is, too. 
Sometimes it doesn't grab. It's so stupid. I fucking hate half the mechanics in this game because they don't even work. Like, you have to be directly standing in front of the thing. It just doesn't work. In general. That somehow worked. Still not sure how. There we go, fucking finally, that was dumb. Only took two tries, I thought that would take way more. Or maybe three. Yeah, it was three, because he bumped into me once, and this first time I died, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, so. Then I figured it out. Yay, there you go, there's a little nightmare stream, don't worry, this is getting uploaded to YouTube, and it will immediately be demonetized for the amount of swearing, because I got annoyed by this stupid a-hole. It's fine, though. I'm gonna watch my language in some other videos, like my Roblox videos. Anything like Steven Universe or stuff won't really have cussing in it. So I'm gonna upload it to a playlist specifically, like, that is more kid-friendly. It's still not made for kids, but, you know. Why does this take so long to load? This is baffling. Games take long to load still. Well, I guess this came out in, like, 2011 or something, so I guess never mind, but... Ah, here we go. Cool. Awesome. Well, I am going to call it there because it's been uh, some kind of time limit. I'm not exactly sure how long. An hour and 32 minutes. So yeah, that'll be a video. I'll see you all in the next stream.